WSCT is the town crier. It is the communication, it's the mouthpiece that can get out to a community very, very fast. Because of that funding that comes through that and the connections, we've been able to develop partnerships all over the world and we're ready. When the, when the hurricane hit, when Katrina hit and devastated the Gulf Coast, there was just sort of a, a recognition on, the, on behalf of everybody here at the station, and I'm sure it went through Ron's mind and Larry's minds as well, that we're already set up. The lifeline has been established. We've already established a connection, a link to Gleaning for the World, a very, very strong organization. And it, it was almost a sense of, when do we shift over? When do we help Americans now? When Dela went with us down on the coast, down in the Gulf area, uh, the first team she went with was from Timberlake Methodist. And immediately she was able to get in a helicopter and see the mass destruction and be able to meet with the people who were standing there in complete shock because within hours they went from having a nice home to having rubble. You, you can't do that in a studio. You have to feel it, you have to smell it, uh, you have to be around it, you have to meet the people and see their grief and hold them and let them cry, and then you can come back. And that's what the reporters have done at WSET. Okay, we were taking everything to a Red Cross distribution center in Mobile, Alabama, and we wanted to somehow, once we got there, find a church or someone that was going to be affected with those donations and there was a church in Biloxi that needed the beds. It's uh, that's one of the things that we've been waiting for uh, and I've had several requests about. It was good dry bedding again. A sense of hope and a sense of that we're, we're, we're cared about and uh, it's good to know that everybody still loves us. I mean this was probably by far the most moving thing that I've had to cover. You don't leave that situation without feeling a little bit more spiritual and a little bit more connected to God, or if you believe in God, which I do. I have seen the reporters from WSCT go in the field and do everything that I could do as a minister in caring and supporting the people as human beings. There were times a camera was running, there were times we cut the camera off and sat down together and cried that changes a person's life and I think it's changed the lives of, of Lynn and of Danner because they've been there, they've smelt it, it's personal.